play knight f3 I'm gonna play this guy plus one minus 15. Let's I'm gonna try to adopt him. Thank you to MSF Spoon for the nine months. Thank you so much to uh the C I believe that's the CEO of Misfits Gaming Group, uh Ben Spoon. Thank you so much for the uh for the nine month resub. Thank you so much. Play C4. I don't actually know that. I, I'm I'm assuming based on the name. I don't actually know that. That could be someone completely different. Uh I don't actually know if maybe I'm maybe I spoke too soon. But anyway, let's play C4 takes and D4. I assume that's him, but I, I actually don't know. I, I just, I, I assume it is, but, it, but anyway, big shout out. Thank you for the nine month three. So let's go Bishop B5 here. I think I'm mad with Trucka, but really, really excited about it. It's going to be a great event. Hopefully all the big boys play like Daniel Naroditsky, uh, Eric Rosen, who's the duck chess wizard. Uh, and I'm very happy that it's a mixed format because of course it would be a little bit disingenuous. It was like, I don't know if I found somebody to make like 10 bullet events or some nonsense like that, where it's like, okay, it's like, just literally give me all the money. Right. Um, I'm going to play E4 here. So that would be kind of wrong. Isn't this just a fork to win the game? So yeah, I mean, like there's Puzzle Rush, which of course is going to be, um, which of course is going to be a, uh, a blowout. Ray Robson will obviously win that, I assume. Let's go here in Knight G3. Um, trade off these Knights. Roll out. Go here, hit the pawn on D5. I guess I'll just trade again. End game here, I have an extra pony. It's just very straightforward. Roll out. Yeah, so once again, we keep going. I'm gonna try to adopt this guy. Maybe I'll do an arena, keep it pretty chill today. We'll see, we'll see what the plan is. Of course, we have title Tuesday later as well, so who knows. But yeah. This guy's a 14 year old Norwegian talent. Marshall 2008. Okay. Wait, what's his name? That doesn't look like Ala Axel Boo. Wait, that's a mouthful. Wait, Axel Boo Kavaloy. Is that actually Norwegian? That sounds like, that sounds like some like foreign. That sounds like the name of, um, that sounds like the name of like a foreign space race or something. That sounds like the name of some character from a that sounds like the name of a character from like some some like great space space or sci-fi type of thing it just it really does to me let's go knight b6 am i roast no i'm not roasting it just sounds like one of those names of like commander cavalloy or whatever it just sounds very uh it just sounds very fancy that, that's all it just sounds very fancy g4 probably a good move i'm gonna play knight f6 here to trade some pieces it's Klingon. It means Whale Island. Okay. Why am I playing 2600? Because nobody wants to play me. Welcome to my world, you guys. Now I get a knife on C4 here. Welcome to my very, very sad world. I have Knight G3 to collect juice. Let's go here and collect the Rook with the fork. D's Knight's very jumpy, obviously. Let's trade some B shops. Bishop C8, not great, by the way, but I'm happy anyway. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just take again. This Knight is so good. Um go here this knight on c4 is so good huge issues for my opponent uh and i can play c6 i can obviously just take castles is a little bit bold I could play knight b2 i guess yeah i think i'm just gonna take and go b4 to collect juice if he takes i just take with a pawn Thank you so much to Thin Limmy for the 16 months. Thank you so much to Thin Limmy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. No one wants to lose ELO. That's that's life. What is the prize fund? I believe it's $200,000 for the America's Cup. Big prize fund. I'm going to take it. I'm going to try to uh, get a checkmate here. Now, I can obviously castle. Somehow, this knight is actually really pesky. So, I think I'm going to go Bishop H6 to trade off this knight. It's somehow, some way. I don't know how exactly, but I will. There's Bishop D4. Oh, yeah. So the ring story you guys were asking about. Um, this is actually a little bit weird. They can go here to guard the pawn. That's a Bishop F6. But I have Rook H1. After Rook E1, I have Rook H1. And it's a typical right triangle. It's also going to lead to a checkmate. Yeah, so the ring story I was starting to say, you guys, is that basically um, the St. Louis Chess Club, they had, a, they had an old logo for the club many years ago. Uh, with an STL and a CC, which is on this ring, um, and they they had an they had a uh, they had an old logo. Apparently, uh, Coco Chanel, the famous uh, famous famous brand, they were going to sue them for money for copyright infringement. So they actually did change the logo, and that's that's what I was thinking of when it came 
to uh to logo stuff thank you so much to monty chess for the 21 months yeah because they had the stl and the cc so this ring that i have is a one of a kind so uh there are no other u.s championship rings that are like mine because they all have a new uh they all have the new logo on them yeah so let's take and castle here Just take with a pawn. Let's go f5 here. Maybe knight g3. Maybe f6 also incoming here. And I could play f6, but I think I'm just going to go bishop b3 instead to start with. I'll take. I'll take f6. Let's reroute the knight. Queen g4. This looks very, very good for me. A lot of big threats here. Like queen g4, knight h5. Maybe knight e4 back even. Maybe I should have played knight e4 first, but it still looks pretty good. Okay, let's go rook f3. I'm going to go knight e4. And then, like, rook h3. This looks really, really bad for my opponent. I'll pre-move queen takes, queen takes knight. The Vienna is broken. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll go king h1 and rook h3. Looks very, very bad here. Big attack coming on the king's side sooner or later. Top three books. I don't have top three books. Do I have any Chanel bags? Why would I have Chanel bags, you guys? I mean, like, what do you, what do you think I am? Why would I have Chanel bags? I mean, uh, like, seriously, that's just ridiculous. It's the same thing as when you ask, like, why, um, what's a good example? It's like anytime I go through the airport and I see, uh, I see, what is it? I see, I see people with these ridiculous Louis Vuitton bags. And I'm just like, seriously, for your luggage, you have, you have Louis Vuitton bags. Like you spent all that money on a Louis, on a, like a Louis Vuitton suitcase. Are you like insane? I'm gonna go rook f1, rook g3, of course. This looks very, very good. Not rook g3, because there's bishop f2, by the way. So just rook g3 here, pretty good position. I have bishop h6 next with bishop g5. Uh, content creator of the year started streaming. Yes, you guys, I'm aware of that. Thank you. Um, and I can play d4 here. This is actually not trivial here. I'm a little bit better, but it's not easy to prove. Um, I, I like d4, I don't know if it's best, but I gotta try to open up scope or something. I'll go here and take with the rook or the queen but yeah yeah no drama you guys I mean I've already spoke I spoke about it yesterday no need to speak about it more wait what yeah okay I'll be playing the late title Tuesday of course but let's keep going yeah we keep rolling you guys keep rolling okay uh I'll play knight of six e6 here as well just d5 bishop b4 he's playing el catalan let's play c5 instead yeah, I already spoke about all the streamer stuff yesterday, you guys, frankly. Um, so, yeah, no need to rehash it. Am I coming to Maryland anytime soon? No, I'm not. But I see six. I guess I'll just drop back, force an endgame, taking King D8 and Bishop D7. I travel in a plastic bag. No need to be fancy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, A3 is a kind of a weird... I mean, I know he wants B4, but it doesn't look quite right to me. Maybe the eh, maybe the way I'm playing this isn't quite so precise. Guess I'll go here. This actually looks a little bit dubious the way I played this. I'll go here. I mean, as long as I survive the opening, I will I will win most of these games. I just have to survive the opening. That's the bottom line. Okay, I guess I'll go here. I could have traded too, but a little bit iffy. Yeah, I don't like my position. I got to be honest. That's a big mistake. I mean, he trades and lets me just go into an end game where I'm not really better per se, but I'm also not really worse either. Yeah, he's got that. I'll play 98 to guard the bishop. He has to keep as many pieces on the board as I humanly can. Knight guards the bishop and the pawn. And play bishop d6. Also, just trade, I guess, and go bishop d6 here, hit the knight. Probably is going to go knight e4, and then I go like f6. Not the dream, but I'm still okay. Am I happy with my life? Of course, I'm happy with my life, yeah. Um, do I agree? Oh, what is that? Do I agree with what? Sponge. Oh, I thought you were saying sponsor SpongeBob. Okay, whatever. I, I don't even understand the question.
I think I'm gonna go Bishop C7 back. Maybe maybe E5 here, maybe F5, depends. So we'll see. Go here. How do I play this though? Very hard. Um I guess I'll play H5. I don't know if H5 is a good move. Basically, I just have to keep the game going. Keep the game going forever, and eventually I'll win. If I wasn't a professional chess player, what would I be? A uh, couple of options, I've said before. It really depends at what point, what stage of my life I'm in, in terms of that question. If I was, say, uh, yo very young, probably I would have gone to school and become like an architect or done something with ar architecture, something with maybe like languages, linguistic type stuff. Um, if you look more in, more in modern terms or in, in, in newer, re like recent times, most likely probably something like a cheap sales, a salesman with like a cheap suit um or um uh or or probably doing something in finance most likely out of 10 what's xqc's influence on your streaming success that's actually a very interesting question so if you ask me what I, how much of it how much influence xqc has one second i think i'm gonna play a4 here um i think what i would say is i fixed the weakness of the spawn i would say that i would say xqc i would i would probably say it's about I would say it's about an, a seven, seven or an eight. And the reason I say is because nobody knows what would have happened, uh, you know, after, after the whole, um, after the whole, whole boom on Twitch per se, like, you know, it's easy to say, well, you would have become big anyway, because Queens Gambit would have, would have exploded, um, which is partially true. But on the other hand, who knows how it works if that doesn't happen. There's so many things uh, when I look at the whole, whole like boom that occurred on, on Twitch and just in general with social media and on all the platforms that feels like a lot, there are a lot of things that you look at where it's like butterfly effects, like one thing led to another thing, but you have no, no way of knowing whether that would have happened anyway. I'm going to go E5 here. Maybe F5 is actually a better move, but whatever. I play E5. I'm going to go F5 here. I'm basically trying to play against all these pawns on the dark squares. That's what I'm trying to do here. Ah, he wants to go Bishop C5. Oh, that's actually a very good move. I didn't even see that as a move. Okay, I guess I'll go here. This isn't really what I want to do, but he's actually so low on time. I just realized. So actually I shouldn't be too afraid. Um, okay. I'll go here here to trade it's getting a little bit sticky for white due to the weak pawns I mean with all these pawns and dark squares it should just be winning go here I'll just go here go here I guess plays that four but now the problem is all the pawns are on light squares so he can't really he can't do anything I go here go here he has to trade and I even have Bishop E1, but I just trade and just win like this. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much. I'm not even playing Brian H. Live. I mean, I, I already spoke about this the other day. The plain, plain, simple answer is, is that they basically were voting on content creator, not on streamer of the year. That's the simple answer. Um, and you know, it's like, that's what makes it tough with these streamer awards in general is that they're, they're sort, sort of lines that get blurred. Why did I play a main line, by the way? Um, li lines kind of get blurred between between Twitch and YouTube. I mean, you have some things that are, are like, I'd say 90% of the awards is all about Twitch. 10% is about YouTube. It, it all kind of gets blurred together. Um, and it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, Le Levy win winning the award for content creator, obviously um, definitely deserving of it. And it's very good for chess. So there's really no reason to be upset about it. Secondly, beyond that, let's also, I mean, and people are going to call this a flex or whatever, but let's just be honest. I've won so many things, so many awards and other things in my life. You think that really I'm going to get be like super angry about not winning this? I mean, let, let's be serious. I mean, that's, that's a sim simple answer to the question. Like, you know, if you were to ask me, am I supposed to care about this when, when I've won things like the U S championship, of course I don't care. And people will get mad at me for saying this, but like, if you look at like Levy, you look at Botez or, or people of that sort, they're never going to win anything when it comes to chess. That's just the reality. They're never going to win any awards. That's just, the, that's just the reality. Um, so like, why, why should I be upset that they, that they win these awards? Why should I be upset? Like, that's just, that's just an honest take. And you can be mad at me. I don't, I don't mind. If you want to be mad at me for that, that's completely fine. I have no issue with that. But seriously, like, I mean, let, let's, let's live in reality. Why am I cooking them? Oh, I'm not cooking them. Uh, what, how is that cooking them? I mean, how is that cooking them? Seriously, that's not cooking them at all. But if people want to say that, fine. I mean, I'm not going to get get in some some argument with people now i've also in the meantime misplayed this opening let's go here on bishop f2 now he's double pawn so it's not great but 
yeah I mean straight talk I mean that's that's the unfortunate reality we don't live in a world where people want to hear the truth and that this will be more serious when I say it but we live in a world where everything's supposed to be great we're supposed to like you be happy all the time we're not supposed to be honest about anything um that's just you know it's an unfortunate reality of the current society we live in um I can play a4 I guess I'll go here I don't even know if it's a good move but I'll do it anyway I don't know if he's gonna play a4 or not yeah yeah I mean that's, so like why should we be mad like they they're they're never gonna win awards in chess so they they get to have this moment this moment of, of glory like why should I be mad about that there's no good reason for me to be mad about that that's just a simple simple answer I'm Andrew Tate 2.0 no <laughs> definitely not but yeah I mean that's the truth like it, it is just the truth um of course I'm playing this game horribly I guess I'll go here to trade the bishops it's not easy to play I'll take he goes back now basically the point here is that I'm going to unwind trade the bishop for the knight and end up in an end game with the knight versus the bishop I'm doing great thank you so much for the resub yeah so yeah I mean people can be mad at me for saying that that's that's fine but I mean it is a simple reality so wh why should I be mad at them for for winning these uh for for winning these awards I mean they they, they deserve uh they deserve their, to have their their moment of glory by all means so Queen F2 he goes there now I could play Queen C5 here this is completely fine I can also just take I guess I'll take I don't even know if it's a good move but I can always plop the pony on B4 he takes with the Queen which I think is a uh, slight mistake so I think I can start to reroute the, the pieces a little bit here although 91 is actually a terrible move because he can undouble the pawns with f5 should have played queen d2 did I pay XQC to stream with him okay thank you we're back in the, this uh this era of conspiracy theories <laughs> I actually heard that conspiracy theory it's one of the funniest conspiracy theories I heard um when chess was blowing up was that like I I apparently paid Felix for him to stream with me I mean it's just really really funny I, I remember hearing that I thought wow people people are very uh cre they're very creative I'm gonna take and play queen d5 and knight d3 yeah no of course I didn't you guys okay so I have queen d5 here queen f2 I mean I should be better I don't know if it's winning but I should be better first name basis I mean that's just me being a chess player and being respectful that it's nothing else actually like in chess in chess like you'll notice when we do interviews about players even if we aren't necessarily all best friends uh I mean it's just a sign of respect to call someone by their first name I mean it's just a sign of respect I can go knight d3 here um or f4 I'm gonna play f4 create this bastion go here I have g3 h4 later of course go h4 lock up this king side again it's very funny that we're ending up in another end game where all my pawns are on the opposite color of this bishop okay I think I'll play maybe here it's actually weird somehow this isn't actually wait if I take that's a draw okay I, think I can play here oh no did I just trap my knight oh no I think I just trapped my knight oh great oh my gosh I just trapped my knight ridiculous out of all the things I could do this is probably the worst I think I, I'm I'm okay now I escape and I win the game I almost just lost I almost just ended up drawing this game okay now I just win almost messed this up but it's good enough halfway there to the uh, to the adoption let's keep going out of 10 what's your inf what's Amaranth's influence on streaming it's a zero the person who doesn't the person who had actually a big influence in terms of me getting started even though it wasn't like direct advice was Rockful. he was probably the person that I because I I mean I knew nothing about streaming at the start the person who probably had the biggest uh biggest impact just generally in terms of me getting into it was was probably wreckful if I look at the streamers because if he wasn't there I wouldn't have had anything really to base it off of I mean obviously there were a lot of chess influences that were more important objectively but I probably never would have even really had any idea what exactly it was if not for um if not for not for Byron yeah I'm gonna go here hit the pawns on c5 and e5 he brought you up with the podcast I mean well I was talking to Byron long before any of that I mean I think that's another thing that people don't realize 
Like, I was talking to Byron before streaming was anything, which I think is a lot of credit to Byron that shows he wasn't he, he wasn't all in it for, um, he wasn't all in it for, like, uh, for Cloud or anything. Like, you know, we were just talking because he was interested in what I did. I wasn't anybody on Twitch. I mean, sure, I was a chess player, but, I mean, he, he was just somebody who was, who was a good person. That's, yeah, simple, simple way of putting it. And that's the reality when you become a big streamer you know and you have these in, you have interactions with people a lot of times you start to wonder like what are the actual motives behind people wanting to talk to you i mean it's horrible to think like that but it's actually very true play rook c8 maybe queen d4 maybe queen b4 Let's go here Let's go here i should be okay i mean does he have some sack i don't think it works no it doesn't work he could try it, but I don't think it works. Go here. I mean, I don't really believe that it works. Well, first of all, I can take with the king. Secondly, I can take with the rook. Yeah, I don't see it because I just take and go here. What? Okay, either I'm missing something very obvious or I'm winning. Because I'm covering the d6 square. So he's down two juicers, so he better have something instantly here. I think 97 yeah I'm just I'm covering up here and he's he's got nothing this is just GG pretty soon number 51 earlier do you realize it's a ridiculous amount of wins yes I'm aware of that but now I just take with the Queen of H7 I just take it's just it's not enough even here thank you so much to Robert Aloni for the two months thank you so much to Lex Noxus okay let's keep going let's play Knight F3 so yeah did I pay XCC to stream with me? Categorically, no, I did not, you guys. Stop being stupid, okay? Next person to write that stupidity is going to get banned. Um, let's play E3 and Bishop E2. Thank you so much to Boopa Loopa for the Prime thing, Real Patrick, and QT Dillon, and My Star. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, next person to write that is going to get banned. I mean, seriously. Like, it's funny to see it once or twice, but then it's like, seriously, grow up. Let's go here and take. Update the stream title? What? I must blitz. What's wrong with I must blitz? It's castle. I guess I'll just drop the knight back. No reason to be cheeky here. Thoughts on the Chicago Bears salary cap? I don't know. I don't follow. I don't follow that sort of stuff in any sport. I'm gonna play D4 maybe. If E5, I'll trade. I guess. Um, I guess I take and take and take. I really want to know, are you a robot? Yes, you guys, I'm a robot. Don't worry. It's coming soon. Don't worry. The day, the day of robots is coming. You know, you know, it's coming. It's just a question of when I'm going to go Bishop A1 here. I mean, you, you know, it's coming like there, there's no doubt about it that the day of like AI and like all this stuff it's it's coming it's just a question of when no because if I was a robot I'd actually be like 3500 at blitz and I wouldn't blunder at all if I was truly a robot thank you so much to Anvil Sark for the three months thank you to Call Me Dapper for the three thank you so much to David Nosu for the three Leafy Gomes for the eight huh wait 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 a second he just hung a pawn no just knight of four no and now I just collect the rook Still be long. Don't get me wrong. With your mind, but not on my time. I can play knight d5 here. I mean, he's got an active rook. Rook c1 is also a pretty decent move. Maybe I'll just play like. I don't want to go knight d5. Maybe I'll just play like rook d1 here. Oh, I just wanted knight e four kind of whoops sees I guess it's okay I think I'm just gonna try to trade the rooks now although here I can actually play Queen to D1 and force the rooks off so I'm doing quite well chat GPT will be soon be better than stockfish give it a year I don't believe that for a second just so you know I don't I don't buy that I think that's complete Bologna I think that's complete Bologna. Hon honestly, I think it's total Bologna. 
Finds 94, which is actually a very scary move to face. Um, I have to be careful how I play this. So, do I have F3? Wait, F3. I think F3 is actually a move. I think this is okay. Move the knight and then I take. What is Bologna? Bologna is a type of meat. It's also a city in Italy too. I think it has the oldest university, right? Isn't the University of Bologna the oldest university in um in the Western world? Am I crazy? Let's go ninety four and trade queens. I couldn't go ninety four because I lose the rook on C one. Yeah. Go here and win the game because he's going to get forked. Just like I got forked in Resident Evil 4. Um, so thank you so much to Ryan Jack for the Prime. Thank you so much. Okay, I guess I'll just take and take. I mean, this is three pawns. If I can't win this, I shouldn't be playing chess. Go here in Rook B5. It's the oldest in Morocco. Okay, but I mean, it's the, the old. I thought the University of Bologna was the oldest one in the Western world. Okay, I just check and. Check and take. I mean, this isn't working out. Have I been in Germany? I've been in Germany many times. And I just H7, of course. There we go. Another win. Seven up, seven down, three more to go. What is Prime? Amazon Prime is the thing where you get like you get quicker shipping, you get like Prime Video. I think there's a Prime Music. You get all these great deals uh, having it. But actually, since Amazon owns Twitch, you can actually connect Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every single month. So make sure you do connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. So you spend zero dollars to sub to your favorite channel on Twitch, um, and you take five bucks out of that Prime subscription and give it to your favorite streamer. So it's a very good thing. Thank you to Mark Manhandles for three months. Bolognese is a sauce made out of minced meat. Yes, I know what I, I know what bolognese is. Thank you, Solid Mac for a seven. Just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Yeah, no, the University of Bologna is the oldest one in the in the world, right? Pretty sure it is. Let's go here. Gonna break, break, a break, break your heart. He goes F5, which is a good move. I did not expect him to play it. Okay, I guess I'll go C5 here to attack the queen. Takes, now I take, now I take, and now I'm doing great here. I just take, with check. He's got some stack roos here. He does have some play, though. Maybe... I think I'm gonna go H4 and H3. I'm just gonna go for the kill with H4, H3. I also can create a lolly threat as well on, on G2. Isn't it pronounced Bologna? Yeah, it's Bologna. <laughs> He's a, a rash piano for the six months. Okay, thank you so much to 3 Geo for the Prime. Of course, Bologna. That's what's <laughs> G8. Um, and I'm just going to castle next move. Oh, let's take with the Rook. Yeah, it's like Bol Bologna sauce, right? Just castle here. <laughs> Okay, you guys, thank you. Anyway, all right, let's get back to chess before I lose my mind completely. I'm going to go knight h5 and take the bishop. The number of people who think I'm being serious, uh, it, it always makes me laugh. Let's go here in rook g2. Yeah, the number of people who get, like, really angry over these things, it, it always makes me laugh, not realizing I'm, of course, completely trolling. He takes. Now, this looks fairly insane. I assume queen a4... As long as there are no checks and I don't see any checks, this, this must be winning. His king is so naked here on f2. I also have queen c2 as well. Their alarm just resubbed for three months. TT. Title Tuesday, I did win. Thank you to the real alarm for the two months. Appreciate it. Thanks for the real alarm. Thank you. So, yeah, it's all good. All good, you guys. I'm in the markets, by the way. I haven't looked in a while today. The market's looking very good, actually. Whoa, First Republic way down, though. Interesting. Maybe, 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 maybe a buy. First Republic was up like 70%. Now it's up like 30%. Okay. 
I just realized there's a slight problem here. Maybe. Two. I think there might be a slight. Oh, he goes king f1. So, wait, but now I take. This must be winning. Do I take a2 is a big question. I think I'm just going to take the pawn. I don't know if I have to, but now he has one less pawn in the end game. So I assume this is correct. Well, maybe the queen was better on c2, but I, I don't see how white's going to dodge dodge mates here. Yeah. Goes to e3, right? Which is why if I gone to c2, I assume there was a mate Constant with queen c1. Just took five but I assume queen g2. Wait a second, where's my queen? Queen's on a2. There must be a win. Rook g3, king f4, queen h2. This might be winning check here and queen h2. Rook e8, king d7. d8. Takes, 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 check, check. No, it's not winning. Maybe I just go queen h2 then. Because now rook g3 is winning. I'll show you guys after the game what I was, what I was talking about. He's an X Factor for the 13, they have Carson for the 18 as well. X Factor 13 just took I just missed mate in 31. Fair enough. Do I invest in any airlines? Yes, I do. Uh I have investments in United and American. America's been pretty good. Okay, now I just go here. I skewer the king and the queen, and that's game over. Yeah, so before I play the next game, I'll show you guys what I was calculating. This is what I was calculating. Was I was calculating check and queen h2, but I thought check, check, takes, takes is a draw. Maybe it's winning because I can run. This is actually winning because I can hide the king and block, but whatever. That's life. Let's keep going. We're number nine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much again. Yeah, I mean, I bought American at the absolute depth of the pandemic in 20, 2020 at like 12 bucks a share. So I've just been selling covered calls against it ever since. And it's been it's been a great stock. What can I say? Go Bishop B5 here. Yeah, definitely. It's It's been a great stock. Castle. Just drop back, I guess, and play bishop f3. Go here, target the pawn. It goes bishop e6. I mean, I'm just going to take and play b3, bishop b2 again. All very standard. Mods are sleeping again. I don't know what the mods are doing, but BTC, uh, BTC is a god if you bought it here. It's not a god if you bought it in the 40s or the 50s or even the 60s when you thought, like, all these gurus knew what they were talking about and they're complete idiots. But hey, to each their own. Um, I guess I'll play queen c2 and rook a d1. I can play rook f d1. I'm going to play rook, uh, rook a d1, I guess. He can also go c4, I just realized, but who cares? It's queen e7. Takes, takes, takes. I mean, it looks like a free juicer unless I'm insane. Just looks like a free pawn here. So I think I'm in great shape. When will today's title Tuesday video be up? I don't know. I'm not sure. This is going to be another one. We're going to be at nine, nine out of 10 in a second. Huh? Excuse me. What? Yay! Queen G5 F4. Just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Hey, so much as dark river seven. Do I know how to solve a Rubik's cube? No. Although one of my good friends when I was younger, Tyson Mao, who was a who was a cuber, um, he offered to show me, but I never took him up on it. Never took him up on it, but he did. He did offer, yeah. Okay, let's rematch number ten. Evictiatus just subscribed. It's not a problem dealing with. It's not a problem dealing with um it's not a problem dealing with tax declarations if you don't if you don't trade every day. But if you do trade every day, you end up with like some 300 page 1099 at the end of the year with like a gazillion trades. And then it's not really your fault, but your accountant ends up billing you more for it. Hey, you know, Rasher for the prime thing. Evictius, thank you so much to Evictius for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Evictius. Thank you for the five gifted subs, my man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go see five nights six here. Yeah. Go here, hit the pawn on e5. I could take, actually. Is there a good reason not to? Oh, maybe it's losing. No, I think it's okay. I'm going to do it. I think it's okay. I'm trusting that it's okay. I trade. 
assume I can just blockade here. After take six, queen d4, I have knight f6, and I, I mean, it's not great, but it's playable. I go here just to guard the bishop. Um, I go here, of course, to guard everything. Position's not ideal. I'm definitely in some trouble here, but probably decent enough that I can beat this guy. Probably I'm going to go like knight g7 here, maybe knight f5, maybe f6 even. We'll see. You can also just trade, I guess. Go here. There's b4. I think I can play b6, just chase him away. He's going to have to do something. Knight b3. Okay, let's go bishop a4, target the knight. Weak pawn, I can take. Knight doesn't have squares. This should be very good for me. Knight f5, knight e6 also. Um... Wait, oh, I want he wants to take on d5. So I take take. Feels like there should be something here that I'm missing. I'm gonna go here to hit the queen. I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna take. Although you can also move the queen to f2, I guess. This isn't so clear cut. I could be in a little bit of trouble. Let him win a game. No, you guys. I'm sorry. I know. I know. In this modern world, we're all about like things coming easy and things like that. But no, no. If he wants to win, he's gonna have to earn it. Sorry. Does it look like we live in a socialist world with free handouts to everybody and bailouts all over the place? I mean, come on. Let's take the knight. I'm gonna take the pawn next move. Um, and we'll see what he does. This actually is not easy for me to win. I guess I'll go here. Yeah. Go C4, but the, I thought C4 I could play like... It's tricky, actually. This is very tricky. I might have just misplayed this. I'm going to go here. This is not easy, by the way. I've, I've kind of misplayed this just a little bit. If I get the knife on D4, I'm in great shape. I got banned in Levy's chat for saying that that, that Hikaru is a better streamer. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know how you want me to respond to that. Play F6 here and A6. Yeah, I, I don't know what you want me to respond. You want you want me to, like, create drama by saying something? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even see the purpose of it. Oh, now I blunder knight D8. What the heck? Or wait. No, I'm still okay. I can go here and rook A7. Very lucky I didn't just lose the game here. Let's go check. Here. Got to just get the pawns rolling really fast here. Go here. Got rook b6. Tricky. I go here. I can obviously take a fourth pawn. I can also just check, I guess. Venomous, Go here. Subscribe. Should have gone to e5. He's low on clock though, so I mean... I'm gonna have to flag him. He should have made me take the pawn right away, by the way. But now it's too late. He's got five seconds. He's got five seconds. It's too late. He should have made me take right away. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, he, he should have made he should have made me take the pawn with 16 seconds. Yeah, it, that was his fault. Thank you so much to Venomous for the 31. Thank you so much to Arma doing for the Prime. No Agile Pearson for the Prime and Lobster for the Prime and GM182 at the Prime. Yeah, not very good, but it's still 10 up, 10 down. It's, it's a good adoption. I definitely can't complain. Let's find somebody else to play.